Hi guys, in this video I will show you how to troubleshoot your Volkswagen Touareg first generation facelift by Xenon headlight from 2007 to 2010. Basically, if you don't have a low beam, I will show you which parts to check. In case of a low beam failure, you have to check two things, two parts. Your Xenon system is consist of one D1S bolt type and a ballast unit which powers the Xenon bolt. Hence, if you don't have a low beam, one of these two parts is faulty. There are a lot of videos at YouTube showing how to remove your headlight from your car. It's very easy operation. You just have to remove your headlight plug and there is another locking me mechanism right here. It's a white plastic strip locking mechanism. Just you have to release the locking mechanism and the headlight will pop out and you can take it for a bulb or ballast replacement. It's one of the most practical uh, headlights made in the whole Xenon industry. The first thing that you have to check is the uh, bulb because it's the cheaper one it's, uh, and it's more, uh, more easier to replace it. It's located under the, this rubber cap. It is D1S type as stated before. It's fixed to the headlight projector with the help of a black retainer ring here. In order to remove the xenon bulb, you just have to counter turn, quarter turn, it's a quarter turn. By the way, you can remove the connector cable first if you are unsure what you are doing in order not to break the a xenon bulb or you can simply do it like this. I prefer to just to release the xenon bulb and pull it out without removing the plug. There is enough white opening at the projector enabling you to turning out to turn the bulb without damaging and then I uh, you can remove the connector bulb. As you can see, as stated, it's fixed to the headlight projector with the help of a retainer ring. You just have to remove the retainer ring, assuming that this is the working one. Let's take another bulb. Then, assuming that this is the working one, observing the two notches, here and here and the notches at the D1S Xenon bulb. You have to place the retainer ring. There are four legs at the retainer ring, which these legs goes into the four openings at the projector. So basically it's around four or five o'clock position bulb replacement and you will feel that all these four legs has got in and then you have to turn it clockwise until you feel that it's safely locked basically it should be 900 degree in order to be totally locked oh, but if you feel that the bulb is not turning anymore and if you feel that it's a firm you can also leave it because some rings are thicker microns are thicker then it's very hard to completely lock and you are risking to damage the projector and only then you can put the connector plug here after swapping the xenon bulb from the working side to the non-working side and you still do not have a low beam it means that as showed before your xenon ballast unit is faulty your xenon ballast unit is located at site 
This silver box is your ballast unit. Not the black one. The black one is the IFS model. Completely different thing. I will mention it, in it also. Your ballast unit. Volkswagen part number is 5M0. 907-391 or the Hella part number is 5DV009-000 middle line 00. This is one of the most common ballast at the whole Xenon industry. You can source it easily. It's used in, at a lot of cars. Uh, once you remove the, uh, the ballast unit, if you are seeing like this one, a water damage watermarks, condensation, oxidation issues, and so on. There is no need even to test it. So this is the faulty one. You just have to buy another one and replace it. It's a simple replacement, nothing to do. This is not coded after fitment. This is a direct replacement, plug and play replacement. Just find a working ballast and replace it. And then you will have low beam. Thanks for watching guys, this is all for uh, low beam failure case. You have to just check your xenon bulb or your xenon ballast. One of them is faulty and after troubleshooting you have to replace the faulty one. That's all. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. All the best, bye for now.